All right, gang, y'all clicked on the video. Y'all seen the title. Y'all know what time it is. But before y'all come on this bad boy trolling or just saying little goofball stuff in the comments, hit me out real quick. Y'all, what's good with y'all, gang? And don't trip, gang. I'm making two videos in the exact same day. So if y'all see me in the same outfit, it's because it's literally the exact same day, October 4th, gang. That's really the reason why. But I wanted to make this video, man, because I've been thinking about this for a long, long, long time. But I just never really wanted to make a video because of, to be honest, like controversy and just people just being weirdos online, bro, and just saying shit out of pocket or taking stuff out of the, you know, just taking stuff out of out of context, bro, without it, without really understanding what I'm saying. But basically, the topic of discussion is, does the GTA Online community hate black people or just got a disdain for black people or whatever like that? And the short answer is no. I mean, not really, they really don't, man. But do I feel that as a black person, it's a little bit harder or it's a little bit more challenging to get some type of growth in an organic, clean way? Yes, yes I do, but hear me out. So I've been doing GTA stuff since I've really been on YouTube, but I've really been going strong with just straight GTA content for about a year or so now. But over the course of the years that I've been doing GTA Online content, man, I have stumbled upon a lot of different things, man. And I've looked at a lot of different angles when it come down to just being a black person in the GTA community, especially the ones that make videos. And in my brain, I always thought to myself, huh, there are not, first of all, there's not a lot of us at all, period. There aren't that many black GTA YouTubers out here making content on the game, period. It's just not that many. It's literally like a minuscule of us. I can probably name five of us that even got some type of a splash at all in the community, man. But I can also tell y'all that none of the GTA YouTubers are literally like big time YouTubers or they don't have like over the 100K subscriber count. I can't tell you no more than one GTA YouTuber right off the top of the head with more than 100,000 subscribers. Now, there may be one that I just can't think of. It may be a black GTA YouTube that I don't even know, but the only one that I can think of that got over 100,000 subs is Expert Thief. And let's just face it, bro. When I was watching Expert Thief, when everybody was looking at Expert Thief, we all thought he was white. Like, I swear to God, I thought Expert Thief was a white dude when I first started watching, bro way back in 2014, bro. I swear to God, I thought he was a white dude. Now this ain't to complain or this ain't to make it seem like, hey, you know what I'm saying, GTA community is racist or something like that. No, man. But I will say this, brody. Me, myself, and my own experiences, I have received a lot of slack or at least a lot of just weird, random trolling and shit because I'm a black GTA YouTuber or because I'm black and I make GTA videos or whatever. Like y'all know me, man. I make videos basically just explaining my feelings towards things going on in the GTA community, the Rockstar Games community. Sometimes I like talk about GTA upcoming DLC information or just certain things going on in the GTA community, right? And I kid you not, I have gotten videos, or not videos, I have gotten comments where people have told me that they don't want to listen to me or they don't respect my video or they don't respect my opinion on things because I am not white. <laughs> I have literally had people tell me this in my videos, bro. I've had people come to me and say, bro, I'm not going to listen to you. You're not white enough. That's literally what they told me. Now, of course, I'm not going to go all the way back into them, into them videos and into them comments to try to pull the shit up or whatever. If you, that you know, if you want to care about that type of stuff, if you want to go see the receipts yourself, then you can go find the shit yourself if they ain't deleted the comment by now. But I've had that, man. I've had people tell me stuff like, oh my God, this dude black, you know what I'm saying, calling me hard R's or whatever. This N word ain't going, you know what I'm saying, like stop trying it, whatever. Like I've had people trying to discourage me for being black in the GTA community. I've had people just blatantly tell me they don't want to listen to shit I got to say because I'm a GTA, I'm a black nigga in the GTA community. Like I've had people tell me shit just because of my appearance or not even just my appearance, my skin color or whatever like that. And I'm one of them type of people like, I don't really care about 
people judging me because of my skin color or people calling me the hard R, calling me some type of black, you know what I'm saying, racist term or something like that. Because for one, I'm a grown ass man, gang. That shit don't back, that shit don't phase me. I'm almost 30 years old, fuck no cap. But I've also grown up in the South. Like y'all know me, bro. I live in Alabama, man. Like literally, I used to deal with this type of stuff. Not like as crazy as people may make it seem like, but I dealt with that type of vibe for a long time. It's just something that happened. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that happens. And even though it's weird, it's something that I'm kind of used to and accustomed to and stuff like that, just because of a simple point of fact that I live where I live in the world. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, gang. That was a long way. I just did a long cut, so I kind of forgot what I was talking about. But let's just get back on track. Another thing that I kind of thought about when it came down to being black in the GTA community or whatever is the fact that if you a black GTA YouTuber, I feel like most black GTA YouTubers, the ones that I do know of or the ones that kind of, you know what I'm saying, still around in the GTA community that's doing, you know, whatever, they doing pretty decent or whatever like that, they hanging around or whatever, their content is completely different from my content. I feel like a lot of black GTA YouTubers kind of strive on beef. I would say beef, drama, you know what I'm saying? Things going on between themselves and shit like that, which is literally like the type of shit that go on in real life. Like one thing about the black culture, the black community, bro, niggas love to strive on fucking drama, negativity, and just goofy ass shit. And for me, that ain't some shit I ever really wanted to be known for. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I ain't the type of nigga that to shy away from beef or some shit like that. Like, if you say something to me or whatever and I feel like I need to say something back, I'm going to say something back. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm real adequate at defending myself. But at the same time, I ain't really on that type of timer because I don't really look at internet beef and YouTube beef as serious. Like, it's just YouTube, bro. Like, I don't really get no fuck about that shit. That's why I don't really let a lot of trolls and shit get to me. That's why I don't really trip about people killing me in the video game and shit like that. I only really trip about when it, when it get weird or when motherfuckers take it a little bit too far. They kind of push it a little bit over the edge, brody. And that's kind of where I be like, eh. But when it come down to bigger GTA black YouTubers or whatever like that, I'm going to just go ahead and name a few people like Low Key and Recoil and all them. I feel like they kind of strive more so on, not really negativity, I ain't gonna say negativity, but they kind of strive on more so, you know what I'm saying, dealing with things in a different kind of way than most other YouTubers. Like, they gotta do stuff a little bit more different, bro. They gotta be, a lot of black GTA YouTubers, they have to be, what's the word, they have to be PvP um, heavy and stuff like that and focus on try hards and focus on beasts and focus on having to fight each other and prove the fact that who the better at the game or whatever like that, where other GTA YouTubers or, you know, saying the people of none melanin skin they don't really have to do that man they can come out here and just play their game or explain some shit to a nigga and people fuck with it and, and you know what i'm saying and appreciate them for it. whether it's other people they gotta go out here and be on constant demon time and be on a constant like yo i'm better than you or i'm better than this and you can't you know what i'm saying beefing and shit like i don't really want to be that type of dude gang that ain't really my mo i ain't never really been the type of dude to want to do that or have you know that type of attention surrounding me or whatever like that like yeah i engage the pvp and shit but at the end of the day i ain't trying to have nobody you know what I'm saying trying to beef with me or trying to oh this nigga a bitch and that nigga a hoe and bitch fuck this nigga and all that bro and starting up streams and shit talking about each other and going off on each other and shit like that like for one it's entertaining don't get me wrong like it is some entertaining shit to look at but for me that ain't like my ammo i don't really want to get down like that again that ain't how i want to grow my channel i like to grow my channel doing what I like to do, playing games that I like, and just people vibing with my personality as a whole. Now, if you just personally don't like my personality, you just personally either don't like the way that I talk, don't like the background that I come from, which is weird because my background shouldn't have nothing to do with you liking me as ZT YouTuber, but hey, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't like my background. Maybe you don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I embrace where I'm from and the hardships that I went through or whatever like that. But at the end of the day, I, I want to be looked at as somebody that's getting respected for being who they are. You feel what I'm saying? Not really trying to imitate somebody else or be somebody else that I'm not, man. Because at the end of the day, like I said, I thought, not saying that Esper Thief don't embrace who he is, but I always thought Esper Thief was a white dude. Like, I thought Esper Thief was a white dude playing with a black GTA character. No bullshit. And I know I'm not the only nigga in the world. You bitch ass nigga. But I know I'm not the only nigga in the world that thought that gang. Like I swear to God, bro, you couldn't tell me Expert Thief was a was a black dude, bro. Then I seen a video of him when he finally showed his face and this nigga blacker than the ace of spades. I'm like, damn boy, you could have fooled me. 
you could have damn so fooled me. Now, I do know that, you know what I'm saying, he was adopted and he got white adoptive parents and, you know, shit like that, things of that nature. But you couldn't have told me that that was a black man, bro, back in the day when, when I was watching him before I knew he was actually black. Now, now, yeah, it's cool, whatever. But I'm the type of person, man, I want to be myself. I want people to fool with me because of me and my background and just my personality and the things that I bring to the table when it comes down to just GTA YouTube, man. But when I think about it, man, it is a little bit hard, a little bit more challenging for a lot of black creators to, you know what I'm saying, just be a staple in this community, man. I just really feel like, on one hand, it's kind of lame, you know what I'm saying, of course, any type of, what's the word, discrimination is lame, gang. Like, we shouldn't, I shouldn't get discriminated because of my skin color. I'm not saying that I do, but at the end of, well, no, nah, I'm gonna say that I do because it literally happens. Like, I've, I've experienced it. But at the end of the day, I do feel like if you are a black GTA YouTube or you wanna be a black GTA YouTube, you will have a couple of more challenges than another GTA YouTube. But it ain't really because of just GTA YouTube. Like, I feel like if you make a good video, you make good thumbnails, you make good titles, you have good ideas, you will see views. Like, people will, hear you out and stuff like that. I'm not saying that the whole entire community just hate people because I'm black or they just hate you because of your fucking skin color. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, some people will tell you that. Like, some people will tell you that, especially if you start to get some kind of motion in this community. You will get the message. I'm gonna let you know. I try to tell people, though, being a GTA community, or not GTA community, being a GTA creator, you gotta have thick skin. And that ain't even just for black people or nothing. You gotta have thick skin to be a GTA um, creator, period. You gotta have thick skin, bro. Even the biggest GTA creators, they'll tell you this shit, bro. Especially if you live stream the game, if you engage in free mode PvP, you engage in PvP as a whole, or you just live stream the game, period. I will tell you that, man. You definitely gotta have thick skin, and you gotta be ready for whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing I will tell you, the GTA community is toxic. You feel what I'm saying? Them niggas toxic, bro. Them niggas will make you wanna pull up to their house with that motherfucking Draco and be like, hey, boy, what that shit you were talking about? <laughs> Not even a Draco, because you ain't gonna do shit but miss all your shots with them hoes, but you know what I'm saying, though. Like, that motherfucker, boy, that motherfucker make you wanna do something to something on most grade. I hate this game. But yeah, you definitely gotta have some thick skin, man. But I will say, I just feel this way. Like I said, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate. There's probably gonna be a lot of goofy ass niggas coming in my comment section saying some goofy ass shit, taking shit out of context. Like, y'all always do. But it's how I feel. I do feel like it's a little bit more of a challenge being a black GTA creator, especially if you don't want to get involved in drama, if you don't want to get involved in, you know what I'm saying, PvP Good type of Steve. content. You don't want to, you know, embrace the tryhardism and all that type of shit. It is a little bit more of a challenge, buddy. But I ain't not here to knock you. Like I said, go for it. When GTA 6 come out, go for it because GTA 6 is going to be huge. Everybody going to be wanting to see creators play the game. So you might, we might be in the same spot. It might be better. And like I said, at the end of the day, GTA is older and everybody kind of got established who they want to watch, who they don't want to watch, the people that they want to be, you know what I'm saying, that they cool with, the people that they're willing to accept it not, man. But at the end of the day, that's just my vibes, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about it down in the comment sessions. Again, for all the trolls, get down there and troll. Say what you want to say. Call me whatever you want to call me or whatever like that. I embrace it. But at the end of the day, if you're going to do this shit just to troll, cool. But if you're really doing that shit trying to prove some type of point, make sure your point makes some type of sense. At the end of the day, do I think the, the, the GTA community hate black people? No. Create great videos. Make great content. Have a great personality. You will shine, my nigga. But at the end of the day, do people face challenges? Do I feel like... As a black creator, I face a little bit more of a challenge growing in the GTA community than somebody that's not black. Of course, my nigga. Of fucking course. And that's just the way the world works. It is what it is, man. But I'm finna get ready to get on up out of here. Again, if you like the video, leave a like. If you don't like the video, leave a dislike. I don't give a fuck. But appreciate y'all time. Appreciate y'all watching this video. And like I always say, gang, y'all be easy to take care. And until the next one, gang, I'm up out this thing, man. Peace to the Middle East. Love y'all, buddy.